Um, we'll give it a fair go. Um, bitterly, bitterly disappointed. Uh, really, really am. Um, I thought we put a, a case over responding to the, a better result than, than what we got. And I'm absolutely distraught over that. Absolutely distraught. Um, no matter what we we had said in there, and um, believe you me, I, I said more than my fair share. Install the limelight, so to speak. And I give it as uh, the best possible shot I could, I could have could have done. Um, I don't think they, they actually listened and took it on board what we were saying. And I think it was fair to come play before we actually walked in. And, and that's the sad thing about it. We even walk, I walked out of there and they even left the document we prepared on the, on the table. That's just how I feel. Uh, I think we've been paid lip service all the way through. And uh, I'm not looking not looking forward to the to the drive home tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing my wife. Um, what I'm going to say to her is that God knows. Um, so I don't know what to do. Clearly emotional. What impact will this have on the families, on your men and, and, and workers? Here? It's devastating, mate. I can't I, I can't begin to tell you just what it just what it means. The, the course is it'll be a ghost town. And we've put the economic argument over and we can stay here until I'm blue in the face and I can point the finger of blame. And I believe you may have done that today. And I blame everybody in Solid Energy for letting this spiral out of control like it has. And you wouldn't believe the money, what they've wasted. And it's been like confetti just going out of the hands. And if it isn't the case of the poorest management I've ever seen in my life for a state-owned enterprise to get in the state it has, to the magnitude what it has, it staggers belief. And um, the only satisfaction I'll, I'll take out of it, if um, along with my jobs and my colleagues who are still waiting for me down there, some of the people of Solid Energy go along with it. Where to from here? Uh, I wish I knew. I wish I knew because I haven't, I haven't got the slightest inclination what we're going to do. Uh, we'll, we'll do whatever we can, but I'm just I'm lost for ideas. Uh, at the end of the day, we've we've come up from Greymouth, funded by the local community, and I'd like to take a, a special uh, word of thanks for that. Because they rallied round and provided everything what we what we got. We brought us up here today. To, Two day trek, and um, here we are. We presented the case, it's fair to come play, and uh, we don't know what we're going to do next. The government says, well, the minister says the decision was based on a drop off in the international commerce, and is that a fear? Donald, do you believe it's because it's just part of the place? Uh, yeah, but you've got to look at the bigger picture than that. Yes, the, the coal price has dropped out at the, 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 um, the bottom, so to speak, but any right company would have actually. Looked at the preempted structure towards them. And as late as three weeks prior to the announcement, Solid Energy at Spring Creek was still hiring people on. And they've been, we've, been, we've known uh, what's come out since that it's been under review 18 months. Now, if it's been under 18 months, why on earth are they in a situation when they're in debt to the tune of 300 uh, billion like they are? That's just poor management. And there's no other word for it, it's misappropriation of funds, that's what it is. And somebody up there, the way up there, should be made accountable. And it shouldn't be just on the, on the back of the workers to be made accountable and suffer. There should be other people suffering. Now that you're outside the minister's office, what would you like to say to them? Exactly, what I said to him, I couldn't say anything more. You know, I, I said everything I possibly could up in that room. And I couldn't, I couldn't have done any more, but I couldn't have put a better case over, gave him the plan. I talked about it, and that was it. I couldn't have done anything, anything more than what I've done. How would you have described his attitude towards you? Um, well, I don't want to be disrespectful on, on camera. Um, as a, an MP, for example, that um, I've got my own opinions. Uh, I think it just went in one ear and out the other, to be honest with you. A bit like a subway in Auckland. <laughs> the minister said it would be devastating for families. Is that a fair comment? I mean, what does this mean for families? Are they going to lose their homes? What's the worst case scenario we're talking about? Well, I can't speak for, for all the families, but we're all in a similar position. I've got a mortgage, uh, quite a big mortgage. 
The company invested $20,000 in me, bringing me from the UK. That's what it, the company did. And there's people down there with similar amounts of money invested. Mm -hmm. On the back of promises of 20 years employment, that's what they promised me. Five years into that, I'm on the industrial scrappy. And now I've got to find X number of dollars to meet my mortgage payments. I feel trapped, if you like, because um, I just don't know where to go. I honestly don't. Is Australia on the cats? Um, Australia's not an option for me, because it doesn't fit into my into the criteria where I am on this week visa. Does that mean you might be forced to go next week? Yes. But I don't know I can do that, because my money's tied up in my house and I can't sell my house because there's no work involved. You see the trap? It's a vicious circle and every one of us are like that. How long have you been? I've been in five, just going for five years. So when you relate the news to the other colleagues, what would they say? They brought the news um, in similar fashion to how uh, I was, I, to how I received it. Um, they're absolutely um, distraught as what I am. And um, we just can't ex explain just how we feel at the moment. Uh, we feel we've been giving lip service right from day one and how Solid Energy have treated us from that first initial announcement on the Wednesday to the debacle last week when there was going to be an announcement then there wasn't uh, to yesterday when they knew we were coming up to Parliament today to lobby they brought it forward the day early and that's just how they treated us from day one I've got absolutely total disrespect for, for Solid Energy and uh, I'll leave you on this note. I wish I'd never heard of the name Solid Energy. That's enough. Thank you.